Hi everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a review for this new Rapunzel Wardrobe Vanity Playset released by Disney Store. I got it on ShopDisney.com. The retail price is $34.99 and she's basically a better version of the classic doll. Um, now I actually do have the classic doll. I bought it as well so that I can go ahead and compare it for you and I will do that at the end of this video. Um, I absolutely love this new face mode that was introduced this year. Um, and they used it in the classic doll and they used it in the play set, which is amazing. They also used it in that big set that has all the princesses. And I absolutely love it. This is finally a face that I love for Rapunzel because I always like the dolls they make for her. But it, she's a hard character to capture for some reason. I don't know if it's because her eyes are so big. I have no idea. <laughs> but I think they finally capture her in a way that she looks beautiful. So now... Before we go on with this review, I need to mention this because I know somebody's going to ask. Um, it is Tangle's 10 year anniversary and we were expecting limited edition dolls, maybe one doll, maybe two, maybe a platinum set. I have no idea. There were rumors at the beginning of the year that we would get something right. And it's kind of expected. And I don't even think it was like a confirmed rumor. It was more of a assumption. It's a popular character. There's an anniversary. They get a doll. So you know if there is a doll it was probably already made because dolls are made six to one year and six months to one year in advance so if there is rapunzel limited edition dolls that was already made and maybe it just hasn't come out because of you know everything going on maybe it was pushed to next year i think it could still come out in november or december after they're done releasing the designer masquerade dolls so there's still a chance we might get dolls for her this year um, but yeah, if it doesn't happen November or December, maybe it was moved to like March of next year or something. I really have no idea. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's a hard time and you cannot even guess anymore because things are not like they used to be. So yeah, the moment that I do know something about a Rapunzel limited edition doll, I will post about it on my Instagram. Remember, you have to follow me on there if you want to be updated with news because here on YouTube, you're just going to see the review once the item is out, you know? So make sure you follow me on there and I will keep you posted whenever I do hear something. So <laughs> without further ado, let's just get into this review. First up, we're taking a look at the box and it's one of those huge square boxes where you can see everything inside, which we do love because you know, you wanna make sure that what you're purchasing looks good and she looks great. It's for ages three and up. And if you wanna look it up on the website, it's called Rapunzel Wardrobe Vanity Playset. When you turn it around, you have basically a picture of Rapunzel with all of, all of the items um, that the set brings. And it says right here, you can pause if you'd like to read that, all the accessories that it brings. And honestly, for $34.99, this is a great deal. There's companies that sell you way less for like $50. So you're gonna see that this is so worth it. There you see the price again, $34.99. And the box just looks beautiful. Um, of course, because everything is secured in there, it took me forever to get it out of the box, but here you have it. <laughs> and I really love this Rapunzel so much. I think she's so beautiful. If we get a limited edition doll that looks like this, I mean, in terms of the face and the, and the hair and stuff, we will be very happy. <laughs> so first up, I just wanna show you the brush. Very simple, really pretty design with flowers and all of that. And it kind of has like a gold color. It's more like a pink gold or something. There you can see brushing her hair just so you see that it does work <laughs> and then it has these two little flowers here's one of them and sorry it's actually really cool how it works you just kind of like put it on and it stays on for the most part right if you move her around it might fall but it stays on for the most part because of those little thingies that they created there <laughs> it's kind of like a clip oops um they're a little bit different the flowers so you're gonna see now when I put them on her hair and I'm just doing this quickly so you gotta look at it okay of course you can put them in the front of her head or like on the side or whatever you decide there's also there's also this pink extension which again you can it's a it's a yellow flower you can do a better job than me I'm just kind of put it on here quickly so you can see it right you can kind of hide it under her hair so that it looks better <laughs> more realistic but this is just kind of like a cute, quickly, quick done, you see? Like right there, for example, you don't see that it's a clip-on. So you you figure that part out, <laughs> but it's pretty great. Now this ribbon thing, 
comes with a elastic band. And basically what you do is that you wrap her hair around as much as you want, and then you make a bow. It's cute. I, first time I see this included in any Disney um, set, at least a set that I've purchased and reviewed and stuff. She looks super cute like this as well. And we'll take a, you know, a closer look at the gel and the hair and all of that. We'll talk about that. Now this flower crown, or a wreath as they call it, it's actually really pretty and painted very well. Uh, because she has gel in her head, it's kind of hard to just put it on her. So I'm just holding it over her head for now because I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna wash her hair yet, but I'm definitely not gonna wash it now. So, you know, if you wash the hair, it brings the volume down a bit and you can just slide it on her head. So I cannot do that because the gel is too there and I actually love the way that they position her hair. So I'm not gonna mess too much with it, but you get the point. You know, I don't plan to put it on her anyways, uh, but it's very cute if you do. You could also use it for other dolls too. And now here we have the vanity uh, wardrobe, I guess you can call it, and it's a blue color. It's really nice. You're gonna see later a size comparison for her. It's definitely a little bit small, but not too much. Right now, like, it's not a huge difference. It has all these pretty designs on it that Rapunzel painted herself because she was in that tower forever. <laughs> it's really nice. When you open it up, you have hangers right there where you can hang the apron or her outfit or something. And then there's more of her drawings in the inside, which we do see in the tower um, entangled right in the movie. We see all these designs in there. There's a mirror on the other side and a little drawer. This is great. If you have a Flynn doll or Eugene doll, you could just put him like falling out of it. That'd be cool. It's just a really, really great item that kids can use with any doll and they'll love it, right? Because you can put stuff in there. It's a little less messy. Great, great. And now we have Pascal, which he is naturally green, right? The plastic is green and it's just painted with the lines and the eyes and it's actually painted very well. You never know. Sometimes you can get one that looks a little wonky, but this one looks great and he is a great um, scale, right? You can clip him on her arm or you could just put it on her shoulder. I prefer him to be here. And he pretty much stays because the tail gets attached to the hair a little bit and he stays on there. And here we have the apron, which has the sun on it and a really nice print. I love it, it's so pretty. And then it has the two ribbons so you can, you know, put it on her. And we'll do that right now so that you can see. It looks cute, even though it covers up like the trim that I'll show you on the dress. It's like my favorite part about it. <laughs> uh, but putting it on really quickly just for you to take a look i think it looks great and it's very good so she protects uh, her dress from getting paint on it and she also has this brush that's um, on her hand with a rubber band and i'm not even going to take it off i'm going to leave it because i like it a lot and the rubber bands are just tricky <laughs> so now here we have her stool and the painting board which on the box is called esl I'm not familiar with painting or none of that, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> this tool is like a hard plastic and she can actually sit on it. I didn't think so at first because it looks so small, but if you position her just right, she does sit on it. And then you realize that the painting board thingy is kind of small for her. <laughs> but you know, it's cute nonetheless. It has a really pretty painting there that she of course did herself. And then you put it together like this. It's an ESL stand and I'm probably saying it wrong. That's fine, I've never even heard that word before in my life. <laughs> so there you have it. She can go on and paint and she looks great. And we have finally arrived at Rapunzel. <laughs> um, we're gonna go take a look at her hair, her outfit and all of that. But we're first starting with her face. As I said at the beginning of this video, this face sculpt made its debut this year with the classic doll, which I'll compare later. For a while, she's been having kind of the same face. The one you see right here on the side of the screen. And it's, it's great, she looks beautiful there, but this face captures her more, in my opinion. It's just, it captures her personality a little bit more. Her nose, her lips being a little bit to the side kind of adds to the personality. And I think she looks great. I love the freckles and the green eyes. It's just beautiful. They did a really, really good job with this face sculpt. And I hope that the limited edition doll, if there is one, when there is one, has this much personality to it. Because the other one, as I said, it's cute but it's just not as alive as this one, in my opinion, okay? <laughs> you let me know what you think, but yeah, I'm so happy that her face was changed to this. Now, when it comes to the hair for this doll in particular, 
it's great. You're going to see the comparison later. This hair is great. It has a lot of volume. I love the gel that they put on it. On the front, it's a little hard, but I love the position because it gives her that little, you know, thing to the side that Rapunzel is supposed to have. So I absolutely love it. It's so soft. It's just great. It's great. It's a great length. You know, it's not as long as it is in the movie. You're never going to get that, but it's a pretty good length. Absolutely love it. Now, when it comes to the outfit, in my opinion, this outfit is pretty much perfect. It's only missing the sleeves. If it had the sleeves, it would probably be one of the better dresses that Disney Store has made for Rapunzel in classic doll form, right? I love the trim right here, which is what I was saying earlier that the apron covers it, <laughs> but I love it. I hope they do something like that for the limited one. It's just, it's simple. You know, you're not going to get embroidery here or none of that, but it's just really, really great, right? It has glitter, which I'm not a fan of, but again, the way that it's used here, it's okay for me. I wouldn't like it if it was entirely full of glitter, but you know, it's just on the bodice for the most part and a little bit on the front. And I'm only opening it up so that you can see that it's all one piece, um, even though that trim does a really good job of making it seem like it's two separate pieces, right? But yeah, it's all one piece and it looks great. Again, that trim is my favorite thing about this entire outfit. See the glitter in the front panel doesn't come off. It's really good. Um, now, when it comes to the legs, she has this articulated, you know, rubber legs. Unfortunately, we still have the flat feet going on. I hate it so much, but I do love the arm articulation because the hand is able to go up more. You know, I've said this before, but I'm saying it again in this video. They used to do this little extra plastic in the front, and now they don't do that anymore. So it has this really good click to it. Absolutely love it. So here we're going to do the comparison. It's pretty fast. Obviously, in the outfits, you can tell. The big difference <laughs> the classic doll you know they have the same articulation the same face different hair and different outfit see of course i prefer the outfit from the play set it's just way better and the other one is more like you know a little bit of a lower budget when it comes to the paint job on these it's pretty much identical the classic doll has a little bit of um, darker eyebrows but for the most part it's pretty much the same thing the big difference here is really the hair uh, the one from the place it has, I would say it's a little bit longer and it's a different texture almost. I can't explain it, but even the color is slightly different. And when it comes to thickness, I mean, the one in the place it has double the hair and it's a better quality. It's great. It's almost like real hair, while the classic one is a little bit more plasticky, if you will. You can see the, um, the difference right here. It's just astronomical. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I do love the classic doll too because I love the little hair piece. I think it's so pretty and her face is, of course, gorgeous. So she's a great option too. Don't get me wrong. I just prefer the one in the play set. Alrighty, my friends. Well, that is enough talking for today. <laughs> we have reached the end of this review and I just want to say that I think $34.99 is a great price for this set for collectors, for children. It's a lot of fun. She looks beautiful in my opinion. She's the best classic doll that I've seen in a long time. Definitely my favorite hair and face. And I hope that the limited edition doll models itself a little bit after this one because I would definitely love that. Let me know what you think. Again, you can find it on shopdacing.com and your local stores. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.